Hello, hello. It's Ninka here from Ninks.com and it's time for Paper Pumpkin. So this is the home, home for the holidays, October 2023 Paper Pumpkin Kit. Isn't this so, so cute? I love these decorated boxes. I use them for storage all over my craft room and I have like a storage unit where they fit in perfectly. So I use them for scrap pieces or die cuts or, or projects I'm busy with and all different kinds of things. So let's get this out. We have a stamp set. We have a real red ink spot. We have these very cute glitter, um, glitter effects, I think, and a, a red tissue paper this time. I use my tissue paper again for gift wrapping and all different things. Grab this out. I'm gonna put my tissue paper back in the box and the box off to the side I always use that for different things oh this looks like a, it's got an iridescent shine yeah you can see it that's very nice so we will be checking that out here is our project I usually show them last but that looks nice so it's what four cards of two different designs is that what i saw so i hope you're doing well we had a wonderful afternoon and s'mores with friends so that was fun here's our we have dimensionals let's see merry christmas we have these two trees oh they're so cute oh look at those cute little snowflakes oh they're so cute and then just little dotage, a little house, and what does this say? Okay, so Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, celebrate the wonder and joy of this festive season. I love the trees and that, these snowflakes. Okay, so we have that. I'll be using, I'm going to put my spot aside and use my full size ink, ink pad. Let's look at our instructions. So here we have four cards, two different designs. There is how to put them together. And the coordinating colors is balmy blue, cherry cobbler, crumb cake, crushed curry, daffodil delight, lemon lolly, mossy meadow, night of navy, old olive, and pecan pie. Let's see, where is this? Oh, the lemon lolly is just a light yellow. So we have these, these pieces. I'm just going to grab out one for each, as always. We will make one of each card with these the pieces we need. They're right here. So get that out of the way. We need one of that one of this one of this is very cute images seems like oh this is card two hold on i want the piece where it tells you oh, there it is part where it tells you all the pieces you need okay. first page okay so yeah, these two go together. That one goes on the other card. Ooh, let's look at our envelopes. That's nice. They are white on the inside. I like that little decoration there. Beautiful card base, white on this side with some. One goes with that one. So that's a portrait. This is a landscape. It goes with this one. Ooh, cute trees. I like the trees. Let's see. This one doesn't get any trees. All three trees for that one. One, one. Okay, so the single one. The one with a star. And the two together. There we go, one, two, three. And then hmm, interesting. 
these two show do you see this they show oh it is the same i just thought that was a different different sentiment strip okay so the same ooh, the sentiment strips for both are the same and then it has this you see the sparkle yeah that's cool is the glitter coming off oh, let's do the glitter test again we'll do some nothing brilliant i like glitter but not on my desk or my hands or my shirt or my camera screen or you know you, you get you get it right love glitter right there not everywhere else beautiful is that it i think that's it okay let's do put this aside so sometimes i decide when i get my kit i look at it and then i decide if i will be doing alternatives or not let's do this one as is so i start with my first card exactly as the instructions say and then i go from there going to fold and burnish so what i was saying about the alternatives i'm going to do the cards as intended in the kit and then decide at a later stage if i will be making alternatives so it looks like this one will go on first do you line it up with the bottom probably so there's this piece here i'm guessing we line it up with the bottom part and then same with this one we will line it up there again does that look right yes that looks right okay so we want dimensionals on all layers Ooh, it's gonna be a thick one this is okay we want some dimensionals where they're saying here and here i'm thinking for this first layer i'm just going to go with i hope it won't sag but I don't want double dimensionals on top of each other. Does that make sense? That should hold it. You can always just put this first layer down flat. I don't want double dimensionals. I'm going to go with that. Let's see. Lining this up here. It's not going to go anywhere. Three dimensionals will keep it in place pretty well that lines up there that lines up there so it just gives it dimension right here and then this part really doesn't matter yep and now the same with this one we want a dimensional up there and then now this one where do i have my other dimensionals i have two there one there two there and now i'm gonna put one two three at the bottom And that should give everything dimension where it needs it without making the post office mad. They get mad about thick cards these days. Well, maybe they don't get mad. They just ask you a lot of money for it. What I'm going to do, because this is loose down here, I'm just going to give it a smidge of glue so that it won't oh, I need a new glue so it doesn't gape open if that makes sense there we go some glue on there so you stay let me add this one right oh, sort of straight oh I like it It's very pretty, very pretty. And then they say Merry Christmas on our sentiment. If I can get it up, let's find real red. Like I said, we got the little spot hanging over my desk here to find my full-size ink pad. Oh, so we have the little spot. I'm gonna use my full-size ink pad and Merry. Christmas. I like Merry 
Christmas. I also like these trees. They're so cute. And I need a block. Grab off a different grab a block here. Need to line my stamp up. Oh, I've got a glue glue dot or a liquid glue smudge on my block. Is that good? That looks good. Let's see if I can find a piece of oh here's a scrap piece right, right here laying around. Let's try our Merry Christmas on there. Oh beautiful. Okay. Now that was Whisper White to this. Oh, I may want to. I feel very boxed in here, like I don't have enough space. I wonder why that is. I just move stuff around. Here we go. Okay, sentiment strip and Merry Christmas. Now, this little scrap I used, this one, was basic white. It stamps beautifully. The paper pumpkin kit paper is not that paper. You just need to give it a little bit more time to convince the ink to absorb into the paper. So just hold it a couple of seconds more and then don't rock your stamp. If you're new to stamping, just take a piece of printer paper and stamp. Grab an ink, ink pad, grab your stamp and just practice the inking up, stamp, inking up, stamp. If you practice that motion a little bit, I get a lot of people saying that the whole image didn't stamp or it's darker or smudged at one area or they have a halo. And the reason is because you don't keep this, your block level or you pick up too much ink. So if you pick up ink and it's smudged all over the over your block you've pressed too hard into your ink pad just want to tap tap on your ink pad and then straight down do not rock rock is like this straight down do not let go of your stamp or move your hand because that's when your block starts moving and you get all kinds of things go wrong down if you feel like you don't have enough pressure use your other hand and apply more pressure but not rocking keeping your your um, block straight and then straight down straight up okay that is the advice but practice is the best way grab some cheap paper just ink stamp ink stamp ink stamp until you get the feel the pressure what you need before you start stamping on your actual projects okay what are we doing we are adding glue dots Blue dots to the back and okay. Did we get glue dots on this kit? Hmm. Interesting. I didn't see any glue dots, although I have millions of glue dots hanging around. So we're just going to use this glue dot here, glue dot here. I just grabbed this off my desk. You can use liquid glue, tear and tape. The dimensional stick that came in the kit any of that will work and then they want dimensionals again on the back of the sentiment one two three let's get this off first i already took my backing off here so angled that way. Does that still look straight? Yeah. Still looks fine. And then this way. Hmm. Actually wondering if I like it liked it the straight way more. See? That's nice. Okay, let's get that down. Going to give it a little 
first from the other side and that is our first card but we still need to add these little things where do we want it they're saying on top of all the roofs it looks like oh and even the windows okay let's see how this works and then i'm guessing it's going to need some time to dry so I will need to find a spot out of harm's way. Is there a... No, there's no seal. So we can just go ahead. Okay. Let's try this. Okay, I can see it come through the nib there. So that's good. Very carefully. See how this will work. Ooh, you can get a pretty fine... A pretty fine line with it. Here. Down here. Oh, that's cute. Can you pick it up? Yep. Very nice. I just don't want to smudge it. Like this okay now we're gonna have to see how long this takes to dry but it's very pretty i hope you can see that shine and shimmer in there it's very cute okay so that's card number one so far let me put a two out of the way so far i like these cards just the way they are not any Thing popping out at me yet. Now it's this one. Okay, this one says stamp happy holidays. I like Merry Christmas. I might pick something else later. What did I do with my ink pad? Here it is. I'm going to stick with Merry Christmas. You can stamp whatever you like. There we go. And again, let's just give this nice even pressure and just hold it for a little bit. There we go. that away I'm gonna clear up this red ink before we have it everywhere and bring in our pieces we're done with stamping thank you now we're going to do the exact same thing here Add dimensionals. They say two. I'm gonna do three. One to three, and we have some. You can use liquid glue. They have little glue dot spots here. So I'm just gonna go with little glue dots. I can actually add another one. Just to adhere that flat. Should I have this angled again? Yeah. why are these backing so difficult now that I didn't take the backings of that one yet this presumably needs to be easier plus I like using my quick paper to make sure I have things aligned properly there we go fold our card base Oh, cute moon. I like the moon. Here we're popping up this and then the, these little trees. Where do the trees go? There and there. 
So we can have that there, this here, and then there's a tree sort of where here. So let's put one there. And then here's a tree. I think we can put one in the corner. Again, it's the double dimensional thing that I don't like. In the middle. So let's, I'm just going to scooch this one this way. And I'm not talking, but I'm looking at the, I'm just looking at this image over here, trying to guesstimate where these trees are going to be. I'm just going to do this little corner. That should be good. So there'll be a tiny one here and two here, I hope. We'll see. Okay. So this part is going to go down first. Actually, leave it. I thought I might move that dimensional, but then I decided it does not matter. There we go. So that's nice and pop up. Grab our little trees. Tiny one. So we don't have a double stack right there. And excellent. This one with the stars is really cute. It's going right in the middle of this is sort of totally covering up that tree behind it and then this one goes right here That's cute. And my sentiment is going to go up in the left hand corner. Oh, come on. Little backing. There we go. Now I'm not looking at the glitter piece because the glitter piece is at an angle. I'm looking at this part right there. Merry Christmas, and now we just need our bling, and then we're done. Let me see the glitter. It does make it look really cute. Okay. So this is our November, November, October 2023 paper pumpkin Christmas. The next one will be treat boxes. I'm going to put this here, trying my best not to smudge it. There we go. Don't want to touch these just yet. Because I'm guessing, yep, it's still wet. That's going to, I will say, leave it overnight to dry. So there was our project for this October kit. If you made it to the end of the video, I would love for you to subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. If I make alternative projects, it will be of this from this kit. It will be in the next video. And then I know that the next week's, next month's paper pumpkin will be treat boxes, but there is an add-on to make cards and it's quite big. They're big cards if you don't want to make treat boxes. I usually make cards. I think I might be needing treat boxes this time. We will see when we get there. So I will just see you in the next one. Bye-bye.